Evening, everyone. Tonight, a state senator who helped co-sponsor the bill on the vaping ban is taking his name off the legislation. That's right. Senator Rich Funky now says adults should be able to choose whether or not to use e-liquid products. Christian Garzone got this statement from the senator's office today. He joins us now live from Webster with more. Christian. Hey, Adam, it's a move that's being welcomed by the vaping community. Senator Funky is saying research has shown that these recent uh, vaping-related deaths aren't caused by flavored e-liquids, the stuff you buy in the store here anyways. But he urges caution in all this. We spoke with his office earlier today and with vape shops in the area. Ken Gregory owns a number of vape shops across the region. He spent last week in Albany attending dozens of meetings with lawmakers. He says it was a series of conversations rethinking the vaping ban, which is still looming. Pumping the brakes on a flavor ban is 100% valid at this point. Yeah. Today, Senator Rich Funky, a co-sponsor of the bill to ban flavored e-cigarettes, took his name off the legislation. When people are willing to have an open conversation, the facts and the science are on our side. In a statement, Senator Funky pointed to the Center for Disease Control, placing the blame on vitamin E acetate sold on the black market containing THC as the cause for vaping deaths. It's something Gregory has said for months. Funky also urged caution, however, as have medical researchers. He adds, quote, I remain very concerned about the use of e-cigarettes and their impacts on public health, and especially their use among young people, end quote, which was a primary reason behind the ban. Vapors we spoke with say funky backing off is a major move. I think it's huge. Uh, people that want to quit smoking and you know they still have that opportunity. Uh, it's it's I think it's it's great news for kids. No, for when you're an adult though, you can do what you want to do. I think that people should be able to enjoy the legal products. There's no real ramifications of it. Gregory says the ban will still likely be voted on at some point in Albany, but... As long as we have representation that's open to looking at the issues and researching it, there's no reason for a flavor ban. Now, again, a court ruled in October that a ban could not go into effect until a court ruled in a preliminary injunction. And I should also point out, while the CDC has made their warnings on vaping less restrictive in recent days, the state health department still has a very broad definition when it comes to vaping, saying to avoid vaping products for the time being. From Webster, Christian Garzone, News 8, Adam Marine, right back to you guys in the studio. Very interesting.